Okay, I'm gonna make an 8 inch F5 mirror. So I open up Plop and get my calculator out to convert the metric and enter in the dimensions of my mirror, which is 8 inches. The thickness is 1 and 3 eighths. And I'm going to make a six point cell for my travel dog. I don't know, I like eight inches. It's nice and small. So F5. And then the secondary I'm going to make. Um, yeah, one and seven eighths. Close to one seven eighths. And with the automatic cell design, I'm just going to let Plop tell me everything. Because a six point cell is simple enough. And now, after I run the Plop program, I can open up the text, I mean, the edit as text, and find the relative support radius so I can start to draw out my support points based off my mirror dimensions. So 8 inch has a 4 inch radius and now I take this relative support radii and multiply it by the 4 inch radius. And this will give me the radius that all the support the six support points will lay on. And then now that I got that, I can open up the graphic plots to find the parts dimension. And with the six point cell, it's only bars, there's no triangle, so it's relatively easy. You build the first bar off the bottom and then rotate it around. Got to put it in inches. Take the midpoint of that bar. Oh, yeah. The bar is not on the radius of the support points, it's on the radius of center of gravity on that first part. So that was 1.996 1 inches, and that's where I put my midpoint of my bar. And the end point of that bar should lay right in coincidence with the relative support radius, 2.304, 7.88. Yes. Um, I don't need that anymore because the radius right now is for the part dimension of the center of the new bars and I'll just array this three times around the center of the mirror. Rotate the parts as I array them. And now just to double check, because I always like to measure twice, so I don't have to cut more than once. And they don't charge you anything more for measuring more than once. It's a joke. And this is the Y dimension, the center of gravity of the rocker bar. Just double checking again.
So now I could draw where the pivot point is on the rocker bar. And then the support points. And now I can array these support points and pivot around the center of the mirror. And they should land right on this similar points on the other bars, rocker bars. And now you could just build the actual bar around those points. And that's pretty much it.